Hey everyone, well it is time to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 again. Specifically the fact that Mortal Kombat 11 is officially not going to be at EVO. Honestly this came as a shock even to me. Uh, listen, I'm not a huge fan of Mortal Kombat 11. Even though I'm a huge fan of the series in general, I'm a huge fan of Injustice as well. This game I just don't love. However, even me, uh, at someone who you know has no investment whether this game is at EU or not was surprised by the fact that this game was left out because to my knowledge this game did very well at EVO last year of course it was a first year fighting game uh, it was really just a few months before EVO so obviously it was going to be big however I, I honestly thought that this game was a lock uh, for this year as well however it's not it's officially been left out which has kind of rocked the NRS community even though a lot of people saw it coming a lot of people are upset even more people and I'm seeing a lot of people uh, kind of blame the general gameplay choices and stylistic choices of MK11 for it being left out of EVO. Now honestly, personally, I don't think that's the reason this game was left out of EVO. There's probably a shit ton of business decisions and deals and payments and advertisement and whatever that has to go into getting a game to EVO. But with all the talk that has been going around MK11, I thought this is a good chance to talk about my overall thoughts in the game. You know, I've mentioned stuff about this game on streams, on some of the older MK videos that I've done, on even like the recent Joker uh, quick look I've done. I've talked about my general issues with this game and people have always asked me to kind of elaborate on what my thoughts are. And I thought that this kind of context is the perfect opportunity to sit down and talk about Mortal Kombat 11 because I have issues with this game. I have major issues with it and it's really sad because I was mega hyped for this game. I had all these plans like I'm gonna just sit down, like really learn this game, memorize all the frame data, maybe even go to some locals. I mean there are some locals around where I live. Uh, Viennality is very close to me. So I was like, yeah, let's do this. This is going to be an awesome game. And unfortunately, it just didn't deliver. Now, of course, if you like this game, that's completely fine. I'm coming from my personal perspective. Again, as someone who absolutely adores MKX and likes Injustice 2 as well. See, my big issue with Mortal Kombat 11, and this all ties into this EVO, not EVO thing, whether this was the reason it was not included, but whatever. Uh... For me, MK11 has several core gameplay issues, not just something that can be patched, not just broken characters. I think the fundamental design of the game is a little bit broken in the sense that it really feels like this game was made by like three different design teams who each one is something different from the gameplay and had like no communication with each other at all. I mean, obviously this game was tagged as being neutral focused. That was like the main tagline of this game. It's going to be like super neutral focused. It's not going to be like MKX where the game was just like absolutely crazy with 50-50s resets into giant combos, armored launchers. I mean, you guys all know if you're fans of this series what uh, MKX was like. Uh, yeah, this game was going to have toned down combos, which it did have more neutral, slower movement and, you know, all that. And while the, the toned down combos are there, uh, the 50-50 aspect of this game has not gone away. Instead of overheads and lows, we now have throws and crushing blows, which are 50-50s. I mean, the fact that they tag this game as neutral focused and still included throws, which are 50-50 guesses, is kind of insane to me. I mean, listen, this is how other games tackle this issue. Uh, Tekken, in Tekken throws are 50-50 in a sense that you have to press a specific button to break it. Tekken balances this by giving you a massive window to parry a throw or like tech a throw. Yeah, the window is absolutely huge in Tekken. That's how Tekken does it. Street Fighter V, the speed at which you are thrown, as in in which you get grabbed, is the same as NRS games, uh, as in MK11. The difference, of course, is that in Street Fighter V, the direction doesn't matter. You still take a throw with uh, the two light punch, I mean the light punch and the light kick button. 
Uh, NRS and MK11 kind of has the worst of both worlds, where throws are incredibly fast, and you basically have to make a 50-50 guess uh, on where or what to do. This wouldn't be a problem if throws were normal. However, throws are not normal in this game due to the crushing blow system. Throw crushing blows are one of the easiest crushing blows to engage in this game. And it is one of the easiest ways uh, to finish out rounds and deal insane amounts of damage to the opponent. The same goes for fatal blows. I mean, fatal blows are supers, not tied to supers. It is the big comeback mechanic of this game. However, the big issue with Fatal Blows is that they are essentially a one-button 30% combo. Like, most people don't even use Fatal Blows as combat mechanics. They just use it to, you know, just wait for your opponent to do something, press it, engage the armor, and just bam, 30%. As soon as either of the players in an MK11 match gets Fatal Blow, the whole dynamic of the match changes. I mean... The other player is like afraid to move, afraid to jump, afraid to do any string, press a button, because anytime the other player can just go bam and do their little fatal blow. I mean, it has been patched recently, the armor engages later, but I would argue that it's still way too easy to just, you know, counter everything and almost use, you know, uh, fatal blows how Sonya's super was or X-ray was in MKX, where it's just like a godlike parry that just like counters everything. So yeah, aside from those, uh, the game's poke system is a little bit busted. It's like way too easy to poke out of stuff. Down twos, I mean, again, down twos deal 14% damage, and a lot of a lot of characters do not have uh, decent mids, so it's way too easy just to down two and disrespect shit. It's way too easy to down one, down three shit. Some of the jump ins in the game are still incredibly insane, particularly. Uh, jump kicks so what I'm trying to get at is you have this neutral focus and shorter combos but you have these insane mechanics surrounding it which would fit more into a game like MKX but they really don't fit into a game like MK11 so basically we end up with a game where in MKX uh, what decided whether your character was godlike or not was whether they had decent overheads and lows in MK11, everything is about a good mid. If your character doesn't have a good mid, that character, yeah, that was my dog in the background, uh, that character is going to be severely limited. Even though this game, in general, is balanced, if you look at which characters do well and have a chance at tournament play, that list becomes a lot more narrow. I would say the variation system, and this is where we get into some of the categories where I think... This game does struggle with maintaining interest in a tournament, which could have effects on whether this game was included on EVO or not. Uh, I would say the variation system absolutely cripples this game. Uh, you know, the thing is, in order to be safe and in order to go for balance, NRS has chosen to give the most boring, safest, least interesting move to each variation. I am talking about the tournament variations here, of course. So, because of this, uh, instead of getting three unique characters per character, as in you can cover your different matchups based on which variation you pick, you instead have one character where it feels like their complete moveset was split into three different parts. I would say that very, very few of the characters slash variations in this game actually feel like complete characters. A lot of them feel like, uh, you know, NR has designed a bunch of moves which would fit and make a decent, good, balanced character and they just split them among three variations. And I think in terms of this, this really hurts the game personally for me in terms of not only playing it but watching it as well. Because what this leads to is that there is absolutely zero creativity in how you play characters. You basically get a character, figure out what the best variation is, figure out which uh, optimal combo routes this character has, and that's it. Uh, very few of the characters have any sort of, even different combo routes. I mean, most of them have just the same starter, same middle, and one of two enders, maybe. And that was, that was probably my big issue with Injustice 2 as well. Like, major Injustice 
gameplay gripe I had was that every character was launching string, back three or forward three, into some jump, into some ender. And MK11 unfortunately takes the same path as well. I mean, just to talk about different games, uh, for example, Street Fighter V, you look at a character like Guile, and you look at a player like Knuckledo, how he plays Guile, and then you look at someone like Daigo, how he plays Guile. It's the same character, but both of their playstyles are so radically different that it's insane. You can immediately tell which one of them is playing uh, just by looking at what they're doing with this character. And I feel like that doesn't exist with this game because characters are so limited by the variation system. And again, in terms of viewership, that does affect the game. Uh, even though NRS games have decent numbers of entrances in tournaments, from what I know, and again, if I'm wrong, let me know that I'm wrong, viewership has not been the best. I mean, if you compare it to uh, other fighting games, obviously. And I think it does have to do with something that basically this game is boring to watch. There's no other way to say it. Uh, it somehow manages to be both dull but also have enough BS to not attract the fighting game purists uh, because of the aforementioned 50-50 throws, pokes, etc. So I think this game is in a really, really weird place where it kind of doesn't know what to do. And I think for the next game, whether it's Injustice 3, uh, something completely different or MK12 or whatever, I think NRS really kind of has to decide which direction they want to go. If they want to keep this neutral focus, they have to tone down uh, some of the things they have been going with gameplay wise for like like ever since the series been out like down twos you know down twos are this way in this game dealing massive damage uh blowing through stuff because of legacy i mean down twos were an extremely powerful tool in older mkx or okay, mkx older mk games but those were like on the sega genesis you know so they either stay with this neutral focus, which I'm okay with, but then really go with, you know, being able to tech throws, uh, toning down the pokes, the jumpings, etc. Or the other option is just to go back to MKX craziness. And I feel like the big issue is that the, com the community is split straight down the middle. Personally, I say go for the craziness. I mean, MKX may have been occasionally frustrating to play, However, no one can deny that it was personally one of the funnest fighting games to watch. I mean, EVO, I think it was EVO 2016, where Sonic Fox fought Tekken Master. That was one of the hypest EVOs ever, for me, uh, because the game is just incredible to watch. Again, even though it is frustrating to play. And... I feel like MK11 is the ex exact opposite of that. Not saying that there's nothing that can be made out of it. I think this is a good foundation for an even more neutral focus game. But personally, I did, at this point, I feel like every single goddamn fighting game is going with the neutral focus. And we just need, we just need a crazy fighting game on the market. Uh, we just need one. And I think MK in general has the ability to fill in that spot. I don't know, man. These are just my thoughts. I know this turned into more of a general MK11 rant, which is what I wanted to kind of get at because I've been wanting to make one. I just haven't had the opportunity to make it. I don't know, boys. I keep trying. I keep trying with this game, but whenever I go back to it, I get super frustrated after like three matches. And that's not something that happens with other fighting games. Even with fighting games, I'm much worse at them with MK11. So I don't know. It's a little bit sad because I was truly hyped for this game. But it is what it is. Again, if you like it, if you like to watch it, if you like to play it, that is completely okay. And again, personally, from a business perspective, it is weird that uh, it was not included at EVO because it did bring in the numbers. But again, I don't know what goes on with getting a game to EVO. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. What do you think of MK11 in general and it not being included at EVO? Does it have to do with the gameplay? Or is it just more of like a business slash other decision that we won't know about? 
let me know let me know your opinions i always welcome them thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and peace out goodbye